the content that I make, believe it or not, is never gonna get me anywhere. I guarantee you, all of you have already clicked off of this. Like, it never will. The content that I have been making for the past, I'm not, for the past eight to nine years, is never gonna get me any farther than it has now. Even if I don't even have, like, I don't have the right type of audience for the content that I make. My co my con or my content is based around the Go Cashier. That is what con the, the community community that I've built up. That is what I have. So it doesn't matter what I like to do or what I want to do. I will have a good starting point. I will never make it as big as these other creators have because these creators started before. They were able to get popular before the attention span died. And if you don't know what that means, and I will actually play a part of his video, but I don't want to get a copyright strike for watching his video, but I will play it for you guys real quick. Most viewers stop watching at one second. Ow. This is normal for every. This isn't just me. This is everybody that makes content, especially on TikTok. That was yeah, t like that's re that's actually like the big one of the reasons I hate TikTok and hate like short videos like they do good yes they like they are good for content but not for everybody else they are addictive stupid as shit and they have caused de death on tiktok and i believe on youtube shorts as well in some places and are just make every like the comments used to be filled with a lot of positivity they, believe it or not they used to be for those of you that for those of you that do not want to admit to that, it's because you probably never knew about it, or you probably have never seen that comments have been nice before. But back in the day, when I when even when I was just first starting on YouTube, comments used to be extremely nice. People used to be nice in comments, but like on TikTok, I literally refuse to have comments on on TikTok. I have a TikTok TikTok account, but I don't post ever on it because I have and even if I do post on it I do not want to get sucked in to the bullshit that it is of content creators on their fucking thing like for those of you that do scroll on YouTube shorts and I'm pretty sure this is also on TikTok but there are several people just streaming just short videos and then just continuously streams until they turn it off that's what it the attention span of everybody in the world has of, of multiple kids actually of what used to be around the world and whatnot, the, the the attention span has become so bad that content creators like me that do the kind of content that I do cannot make it anymore. And those that have already and those that that are doing what I am doing with a bit more effects, like a slightly bit more, the only reason why they're able to do it right now is because they have already got the audience for it. And people know who they are, and people are going to watch them. But for you and me, like, for me, I'm not being selfish. This is for a lot of content creators. This is for a lot of people. This is not just me. If, like, my friends, I've had several friends who have tried to do YouTube, and they have all failed miserably. That's, that's not even an exaggeration. Miserably as in, they quit YouTube because they weren't getting views or because the algorithm wasn't showing them respect or they wasn't showing them anything. And they would do some pretty good videos. And I continue doing YouTube because it's what I like doing. I like making the, I like playing a game, editing it the way I like to edit it, put it out for everybody to see. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. But there used to be an audience for what I do. There still is, but... I'm not going to get the amount of exposure that I need to be able to reach that audience that I need to, that I need to reach. It was a TikTok that I just showed you. But even on YouTube, if you make content longer than eight minutes, even five minutes, you're going to see a graph. This video that I'm making right now is currently seven minutes and 15 seconds long. That has a line, and I talked about this in my last video, that drops all the way to the bottom of the graph and stays there for the rest of the video. 80% of your audience leaves in the first 30 seconds of your video. That's why every successful creator that you see nowadays has all these big, biggie, biggie explosions going on just to keep your eyes glued to the screen because your dopamine receptors need that constant content or you're out of there. I have a lot of content creator friends that have TikToks and they tell me that it's the meta to put 
gameplay at the bottom of their videos of, of GTA cars running ramps or peeling bananas or peeling oranges or, or, or washing carpets or cleaning out dirty cars. Shit that has nothing to do with the the message that's trying to be sent across with the TikTok, it has it, it yeah have shit to do with that. But you have to put that at the bottom. I would like to I would like to add on or say some other things, but he's pointing out, and what he's pointing out is very good. He's pointing out the idea, or he's pointing out what's wrong with everything, or what's wrong with everybody, mostly everybody. And he's doing a good job, so I would love to add and make this like so. It's like I would like to just make this a reaction video. It's hard to when he's making good points. For the people that have goldfish three second attention spans, or else you're not gonna get views. Let's bring up short form content for a second, right? YouTube shorts, TikToks, Instagram reels, oh, any form he's of using short a joke, okay. form content, you may not know, but it's slowly but surely. I mean, just think. If you get on any of those platforms, you're stuck scrolling for hours on end and you don't even fucking realize it. I mean, it happens to me. It's addicting. You see a video that you like, you like it, and then they recommend- It's called dopamine. That's what it's called. And there's literally about five or six ads out there that I've seen that just says, turn it off. I guarantee at least 5% of you have seen it if you're even watching this part of the video. For those of you that are still watching, thank you, I really do appreciate it, because these videos may seem easy to make, but they're not. Like, people do enjoy it, but it's time-consuming as shit. I spent all of yesterday editing a video! Like that, so you can stay on their platform so they can get paid more. It's a win-win. They're satisfied getting their mortgage paid, and you're satisfied with your dopamine receptors doing fucking backflips and twerking all over <laughs> This generation's butt cheeks are thrashed! <laughs> And there's nothing that we can do about it, but force them to watch long-form content. That's probably not even going to exist in the future, which I'll have a special guest Sorry, joining I me agree. with this uh, commentary today. You don't know what the hell I'm talking I'm about. Maybe sure. you can decipher it for you. Hey, hey, I love yapping more than SpongeBob loves making Krabby Patties, so I'm pretty excited to just go ahead and give my little spiel about attention spans in 2024. Ow. I am of the firm belief that TikTok, mainly TikTok, but also Instagram Reels to a lesser extent and YouTube Shorts, have completely rotted the human brain. Like, these kids growing up with all of this shorts content around them has actually deteriorated their frontal lobe and it's made them impossible to focus on anything for any meaningful length of time. So, I think it's a bad thing. Now, I know I'm kind of like that old man shaking his fist on his front lawn about it, but I really think in 10 years, society is going to be in a totally different state than it is right now where you won't have anything long form. So, like, right now, I bet this video <laughs> is probably going to have, like, GTA footage on, like, the, the right side with stumble guys and fall guys, bottom left, subway surfers, maybe, like, cutting soap. Because if this is posted anywhere besides YouTube, like, in any kind of shorts format, people will not watch it. It doesn't have enough going on. There's not, like, fucking explosions and all kinds of crazy shit going on, <laughs> bells and whistles to keep people hooked, which now is a requirement to do anything it doesn't matter what content you make whether it's gaming whether it's just like fucking yapping like this just rants or really even I, i've seen this extent to even like movies and tv shows i have unironically seen people say they can't watch tv or movies because it moves too slow for them that there's not enough stimulation from like every second of the of the show like that every single frame needs to have some kind of like loud zoomer sound effect to it or something going on to keep them hooked that super sucks I think that shit is tragic. Like, it just makes it impossible to do certain things now. And it's, I don't know, I don't like it. I could go on for, like, actually probably, like, an hour just ranting about this. And obviously it doesn't change anything. You know, it's like trying to fart into the wind here. But, yeah, you know, at least it feels good to just, like, get it off your chest, right? Like, I just really don't like the focus of everything being super short dopamine hits. Like, there's nothing wrong with letting things ride. There's nothing wrong with letting things develop slowly. And I, I think we're losing that art form now. Humans are just yeah. constantly, like, needing things to move a million miles per hour. People are only watching shit in two times speed. And it's a real shame. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and stop it there. Because if there's not enough GTA gameplay and Fall Guys going on on this video, I, I've already lost a lot of you. I, I know it. I already know. It's, a, it's okay. I'm not offended. I get it. Yeah, I mean, that's really, that's about fucking it. And he's right. That is about it. We just gotta sit there and take the win.
And there's not a damn thing we can do about it either. Again, like I said, if you're a bigger creator like Moist Critical or this guy with his, um, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of content he makes, but I know he's bigger. I know he looks familiar, so I, yeah. But it, if you're like these guys, they still get views in the hundreds of thousands. I'm stuck at 100. If you have actually watched to the end of this video, please give this video a like. Because you're one of the very few people who actually do give a shit. Or who have at least a better attention span than a five-year-old. I am literally feeding a dead horse. Or I am literally giving drinking water, fresh, clear drinking water to a dead horse. That is what's happening at this current moment. Because you guys cannot watch a video for more than two seconds, five seconds, or ten seconds without being bored out of your mind. And that's even, that's, even that's a long shot. Ten seconds is a lot to ask for. Believe it or not, it's a lot to ask for. Like and um, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next, next video. Peace out, guys. I hate this algorithm. I don't have the algorithm. I hate TikTok.